Hi, I'm Derek Oxenden with Rusted Ox. I've been excited to get to the boxes that I haven't opened yet because I've gotten a little busy working on a few different houses. Um, so this is the unboxing of the tool kit for the Fireball Tool table. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into it. It's gonna be a quicker video today, uh, but wanted to show you what, what I've got and in what form it comes in. But I have learned one thing from a lot of years of doing construction and working on different projects is you can't have enough clamps, and so I've got plenty of those. This is probably one of the big tower blocks, or a couple of them. Those are pretty good. So there's several of these. These are quite expensive, um, but as I watched Jason's videos, I knew I wanted to have at least a handful of those, especially as you start building things that are a lot taller. A um, bunch of these clamps. And I'm hoping that I'll end up with a big pile of different tools. And I don't remember if these were different sizes. I ordered just a couple of kits to make sure that I had a lot of clamps. Oh, I guess they're different heights. So this one, you can see a little bit different height here. These are the three quarter inch um, pin sets. And so, let's open up one of these and drop them on the table. It looks like they might be doing some different sizes. So then this should drop right in. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited for this guy. Let's see here. Some more clamps. So I also ordered the maintenance kit. Um, so that box, or that, looks like it might be a little smashed up just because of the heavy items in that box. Uh, but that's for treating the table and spraying it down to keep it from rusting. Now, where I'm at, the humidity is not real high. So the risk of rust isn't as bad, but uh, on a table like that, if I'm gonna have it last for a lot of years, then definitely don't want it getting rusted. So these clamps, those are a little bit bigger than I was thinking. So the jaw, I think on these was the three inch. It looks like maybe a three inch. So that one, drop right in. Big adjustment on the end here, just like that. And so yeah, clamp down. That should be very nice and quick for a lot of different projects. So those. And these are just loose in there. Loose some of these peanuts here. Three, four, five, six. And at the time I ordered it, they did, I don't think they had the, well maybe they came in just after I ordered it. They've got some that have a lot longer jaw set. Um, so I'm, I don't remember now if, if they had them in stock when I bought that or not. Hopefully they do. Some more of those kind of clamps. This is better than Christmas, guys. I don't remember the mix of the count of the shorter ones and taller ones, but we should have plenty. If you're ever buying clamps for any kind of project, just order a bunch one time and you'll be glad you have them as projects come up over and over through the years. I got wondering if some of these have longer arms, um, but it looks like they're all the same. So we've got three, three more blocks, or three more boxes. That one's a lot heavier. So I'm guessing it's got the stop blocks. So now they don't come with the, all those blocks don't come with the pins installed. But you'll see him use it. So here's a bag, a very large bag of a large quantity. I don't know, I don't remember how many were supposed to be in there, but those will screw in to the, to the blocks. Combination stone for knocking any little BBs to get splattered onto the table. Um, oh, that's handy. I don't know that I realized that was in there. It's a little three quarter inch brush, and I'm sure that's for pushing it through holes to clean that out. If I'm wrong, I'll find out here shortly. Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, a wrench or not a wrench, a, 
uh, an Allen driver for those pins, I believe. Um, two different sizes of those. So then this box. All right, nice big thing's got some weight to it. Um, for scraping the table, that really sounds nice. That table is machine flat. It is impressive. Now the next layer. Oh. I might have to take them out one by one. Well, I'm afraid if I tip it up, all those blocks might come falling out. So maybe I'll. Get layers here. And a hole. All right, so in this box then, we've got a big assortment of, I think one's not gonna fall, of the fence blocks. So it's threaded, um, so I can drop those in, with those pins that we pulled out, and then the big screw stops. I'm assuming those. I'll we'll find one that'll, that'll work with. I don't think I can use it on these. That one's tight enough. I might have to get a wrench on it. To... I'll have to play around with that to see how that I can get that on the table. Because as I'm pushing that, the balls aren't retracting, so I don't know if this color needs to twist out. Let's see if there's another one. Oh, okay. I'm just dumb. So this one screws in, forcing the balls out. Never used anything like this. This pops out. Um, for some reason, I'm sure I'll find out. Maybe that's to lock it in place. But the further out I go, Balls pop in, so then as you drop it in the hole, well, that hole's kind of tight. So some of these holes might have some debris left in the table from machining. Yeah, there it goes. Um, so initially when you're using this table, you might have to work a little bit and probably should just run the brush down through them just to make sure that there's no debris left. Tightening that nut, oh, you're not tightening it much in it. It locks in really well. So I've got, I don't know if there's a dozen of these. Uh, a lot of those, the tooth blocks, or at least half the tooth blocks in this one. I've got some little offsets. And I'm sure Jason's got a bunch of videos covering each of the little components. A lot of different screws so that we can attach different blocks to different towers in any configuration that you want to make. So that box has, yeah, a lot of the fours, a lot of these different ones. So I'm gonna set this one out of the way. And the cart that he's got for his tools is a great idea. Um, I don't know that I didn't see it or didn't notice it when I made my purchase. It was enough money that I, I don't think I was looking to find ways to spend a lot of extra money it could have, but uh, I've got to figure out some way to hang or store all these and have it a little bit mobile, though I don't think I'll be moving the table a lot. I think this is the anti-spatter spray. And it is here, so that is, I guess no label on it. I don't think there's anything else in that box. That's for spraying the table to help to help the BBs keep from sticking. And the last box is another heavy one. And again, so look at all the different kits, figure out what you might want to do, and then make sure you order more than you probably want or need off the top of your head. Oh, these are the shim kits. So with those tooth blocks, you've got down to, I think it was eighth or 16th inch. Um, 
So this, I would assume, is gonna give finer adjustments as your positioning parts. Yeah, so both these are the, the shim kits. It's actually a nice little case, handling everything. All right. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, that's nice. Magnetic, so they stick to whatever you'd want to put them onto. Um, that might be a little bit of a problem as you're grinding stuff. That'll probably pick it up, but just something you have to keep clean. So three eighths all the way down to these smaller ones. And it's got nice labels on it. You know, one thirty-second of an inch fireball tools. Obviously, these don't have magnets in them. They're a little smaller, too small for that. Um, but the larger ones all have magnets. And it comes in several different thicknesses. These are all one inch, a block of four there, um, three quarter inch, set of those. That, I guess you got four of the three quarter inch, half inch, and then, oh, those ones are. So the quarter inch ones also have magnets as well as the three sixteenths. So um, fantastic little kit. Should have more shims than I could ever dream of using on a given project. So I think that's it. Um, went through everything. That's my, my table kit that I ordered. It's not, and I ordered two different kits. I ordered the big one that they'd had at the time <clears throat> and then a smaller one that gave me additional clamps and a few extra stop blocks, but it was more of the clamps that I was looking for. Um, so good luck on your purchase. I can't wait to use it. This is gonna be a lot of fun. And I'll have to show you some of the projects. My daughter was just asking about building a, um, oh, what is it? A box jump. So a steel box jump for exercising stuff. So that might be the first project that I, that I do on this. She was excited for it and something to build. So until next time, I'll talk to you later, thanks. Well, after getting everything laid out on the table, unfortunately, I realized I am short a few things. One, the first one that stood out to me that made me run inside and print off my order to, to double check everything, I'm missing the top halves to the tooth block. Um, so I've got eight of these, all the tops are missing. I should have two more of these tower blocks and of this height, and then four of the six inch ones. I believe they're six inch, but I'm missing all four of those. I've got 12 of these clamps, and I thought and was expecting another six of this style with longer jaws, and so those are missing from the order. And a couple little odds and ends, but the other big ones that, I was, that I'm missing are those big V blocks. So, I'll need to make sure that uh, we get those taken care of. And before I contact, so I just tried to call Fireball, they're closed for the day. Um, but before I called them, I ran back, watched the video of the unboxing of the, of the whole table to see how many boxes that I had of the accessories. And it only had five boxes. Um, so in this video, I unboxed five. I've got five empty boxes sitting here. I, before I called them or said anything, I want to make sure that I verified that I did not bring in a box and have it sitting somewhere else in my shop. So um, I am missing those. I've had great luck on previous orders with Fireball, so um, I don't have any concerns that way. Although on their website, a lot of stuff is sold out. So I'm hoping the delay is not significant on getting those, but in our current environment, who knows, it might be a year. Hopefully not. But at least I've got plenty of clamps and I've got plenty of box or blocks to start making a few things. I may not have everything that I want right off the bat, but I've got more than enough to get started. I'm Derek Oxton with Rusted Ox. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to subscribe.